Hi, I'm Hossein Billahi. In, in the previous video, we saw how we can create a list view and assign items into it using the item source property of uh, the list view. So we showed a simple uh, string in each item. So here it's simply the name of the person. And in this video, we'll see uh, an advanced uh, scenario where here I want to show not uh, only the name of the person but also uh, his age and they want to show this uh, data inside uh, each item of the list view so I, I want to have like the name and also the age of the person so how we can do that so first of all let's create uh, the person um, entity so here I'll go and add another class so let's click add uh, add a class let's call it person and let's make it public inside the public class person I'll add some properties of type string and let's call it name and let's add another property of type int let's call it um, age for example now here I come back to the home page and here the list will be a list of uh, person so here I need to go and change all of those. So here I'll add another person. Each person will have a name. So let me uh, use the previous names here. And also an age. So here let's say for example 34. So that now I have the list of the persons here. Now I should come back to the home page. And here, the second modification I should do here is to come inside the list view. And add inside the list view, define an item template. So the item template will define how each item inside the list view will uh, looks like. So for my item template, I should also define a data template inside of it. And inside the data template, I can define um, the item that I want to show. So here for, uh, for my item, I, I want to show um, the name inside a label and also the age also inside a label and both I'll um, show them inside a stack panel or a stack layout I define the orientation to be vertical inside this stack layout I'll show the label and here inside the label the text I want to show it will be Binding. So here I I should write the same as the property here, which is call it uh, name. So so here um, when I define the list to show here for for each person, each item will get a person, an entity, an entity type person, and each inside each item here for uh, the label the first label it will show the property name so it take the value 
inside the name which is for the first one Muhammad and for the second one Hussam and so on and also I want to add another label to show the age so, so here instead of the name it will be uh, the age of the, the person okay so now let's uh, run it Uh, yeah, it's crashing. Why is it crashing? Yeah, here yeah. I should um, um, has uneven rows. It should be set to uh, to true whenever I want to uh, to change uh, to to add or to add a, a data template inside my list view. So let's run it again. Again, it's crashing. Why this time? Because just I uh, I, I don't just need to uh, to set this uh, property to true, but also I need to go inside the data template and define the view cell. Those are important um, important. Uh, errors or important problems that each Xamarin Forms developer may may find. So here are the solution how uh, how to solve these um, these errors. Okay now it's working and for each item it's showing the name and the age of the person.